Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Hope to see you again. What can I do for you today? Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Farewell. Wonder who lit You are here. Good. Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Lumos. Rebellion. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave. 
Casey comes back home. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Revelio. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Rebellion. didn't cross Let's paths go. with that wolf pack. Let's go, Kyle. We should look around. Dude, I'm so curious, like, what house you get sorted into. So curious, dude. I need to, hold up, I need to send you, I don't know how, if you want to do this or not, but I need to send you something. It's, uh, it said you take a test on the Harry Potter website and it like gives you a house and then you can link that data to your video to your Hogwarts legacy. Character, nice. Send you a link real quick here.
I just sent you a few things. Characters should have a headband. Dude, I yeah, I totally agree. Uh I don't I have not came across headbands. I don't think. I'm not really paid attention to the hats. There's like uh there's hats. It's like wizard hats, but there's no headbands. Rebellion. Tell me this is a demi guys. Yep. Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. Where art thou? I have a bad feeling about this. Hollow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Halo caught up to him here. This is not good. Not they went good. this way. Not good, not Siami. Oh, what's up, Andy? Depends what version you're getting and if it's for current gen or old gen. Um, I have the Series X, so it cost me about $80 because I did the pre-order Deluxe Edition. So I gotta play the game early, like 72 hour early access. Um, I need to catch this Threshold. Hold up, hold up a second. I need to catch this Threshold. Uh, yeah. Thestrals! Oh, it flew they away. Are you kidding? Are they not? Come back. You can see Thestrals too. You. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who yes. witnessed death yeah, deserve some comfort. Rebellion. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt back. quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <clears throat> Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Revelio Let me hit them. Yeah! Bring them. 
Yes, we both, they got what they both deserved. attacked at the same time. Uh, Andy, this is the definition of a Harry Potter game. It's just, it's so, the, the amount of detail and the realism, dude, it's just, it's crazy. So before I even continue with this quest, I'm going to do this Merlin trial. It's one of the achievements you have to do is to complete every Merlin trial, so... And I think this one requires one Guardian Leviosa. Which I don't think I have. One, two. One, two. One Guardian Leviosa. by Sheen Burke. Andy, Kyle, Argeen, thank you for liking the stream. Thank you. I'm not sure what I'm really supposed to do with these rocks. This is the only like puzzle I haven't been able to figure out so far. We do that. Yeah, I don't want to. We I'm not entirely sure what to do with this puzzle. Rebellion. on my map actually it's, I think it's pretty rare that I just found that so ancient magic hut spot oh it shows up on my map okay okay and be no mistake so I don't I don't know how to do this just thing here Guardian Leviosa. Can't be Lumos or that. Repero, I highly doubt it. Could be. I've tried all of this. Leviosa. We can try Leviosa. Leviosa! 
Incendio. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Well, I suppose I'll have to come back for these. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Uh, there's actually three of them, which tells me this one's actually lined up somewhat. It's got symbols, so that goes left. Huh. I'm thinking you... Leviosa? Wingardium Leviosa! Depulsa! What up, Nye? Did I have you figured out these, uh, these stone challenges for the Merlin trial? I'm a little confused. Wingardium Leviosa! As to what I'm supposed to be doing. Aha! I figured it out. Okay, I just figured it out. Oh my god. Going through like 30 spells to figure that out. So I need to flip that again. Wingardium so. Leviosa. Guardium Leviosa. Guardium Leviosa. Still not right. Wingardium Leviosa. Definitely got to use a critical thinking part of your brain. What is that, the right side of your brain? Just uh, next time you try and figure it out, just try and only use the right side of your brain. I don't know how that works, but. I mean, this just took me a solid like five to ten minutes to figure out, not gonna lie. Wingardium Leviosa. Guardian Leviosa. Guardian Leviosa. Still not correct. Maybe. Can you come at it from this angle? It also depends on what angle you change it. Propendo. Break the stone balls. Um, I've done just about, I think, every type of Merlin trial at this point. 
Um, I don't remember breaking the stone balls. I remember you have to use... Oh, what's the spell called? You have to use... Accio. You have to use Accio and, like, drag the balls onto a placement where there's, like... And they sit in the... I don't, I don't remember breaking the stone balls, but, like, you have to use Accio and bring the balls to the little placement for them. Rebellio. This tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. I've been in. That's huge. Revelio. Unlikely. Be as a shadow. You don't think he saw it happen, do you? He's just a child. Where is Titanus? One of the talents you can get nigh is to run to be able to sprint while you're invisible. It's also very useful. I highly <coughs> recommend it. If you want to play a stealth build. That means I can equip this hat that I just got shown, or this face wave right here. <clears throat> that. I'll take it off. Now, about over there now. There now. Oh, no. Nope. 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 <clears throat> Rebellion. I'll be right there. Hold your horses. I'm trying to figure out how to get to Rebellion. the chest. Don't 
Rebellion. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Alohomora. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Speak with Miss Pickle. Oh, Archie, you're here. Oh, oh, you're safe. Mother, oh, mother. Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Raid, Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, ma'am. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Biko's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. This bag's definitely glitched. Okay. Oh my gosh, I chose the... I'm about to learn Crucio. This is, this is not good. Let's get it all. I'm going to become a dark wizard. Crucio. Something, something beats. Lucy. 
Lumos. Rebellion. Kelpie statue. Shape shifting water demon. you up to now rebellion Lumos. Start of the hallway. Rebellion. I think it was that way though. Oh, it's right here. Rebellion. Snake. Rebellion. Alright, time to learn Crucio. Well, I would love to know how to get behind that wall. The chest.
You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? Please, Ominous. I confided in you before about what happened with the Undercroft. Sebastian simply wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something, and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders, and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is best left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory. Get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with... Confringo! Them. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Lumos. Revelio. Remember, three braziers are involved. A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Let's go. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. 
When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. There's no clear way forward. Good friend like names. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. Lumos. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Confringo! Lumos. The dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Isn't it? You sound surprised. We're in a maze Circle. designed by Salazar Slytherin. <laughs> Matching the symbols did open it. Lumos. I have to do that myself. But you got to it first. <laughs> nice work. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. Symbols differ for every dial. Seems the dial moves faster than before. Perhaps check your matching correct symbols. Uh, I don't know. Am I? Lumos. Am I matching the correct symbols? store Revelio hmm. 
Lumos. So lost right now, bro. And what I'm doing. Cat and a thing. That sounded promising. Lumos. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was Fish. rewards. Keep going. Fish in three. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Rebellion! <laughs> Ominous. Oh, jeez. That was scary. Her skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. That's where she died. Lumos, this is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. Cool. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to.
I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Crucio. Ready? I'm ready. Crucio! Yeah! That pain was excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. Oh, I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let's... I wander around a bit. Have a look. Revelio. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this Rebellion. far. Rebellion. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. your way out. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Let's go, we got an unforgivable curse. Let's go.
on another adventure, are we? Looks intriguing. Serious wearing a woolly jumper. want to know what really happened to him. Tell me this is where foopers are. Oh, no, you don't. Rebellion. This mentions in theory, and something about it being Bardolf's turn next. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I... Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh, my sincerest gratitude, you brave soul. Madame Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh, please tell me he's safe. I'm afraid he's joined the Ashwinders and has no interest in returning. But what? No, no, this can't be. He was seeking their advice, that's all. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Bond. <laughs> what more could I have done? I guess we go back to the main quest line at this point here. I need to collect some new animals though for sure. Because I upgraded my gear. I need three more house tokens. I think I'm gonna follow the main quest. 
quest line. Perfect. You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen. And I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. I've received your owl. I was able to speak with Lord Gok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once. But they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? I believe he's trustworthy, yes. He seems sincere. And Sirona Ryan trusts him. Very well. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm. He hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rookwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. Actually, gonna fast travel one right there. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Let's see if there are any animals near me. Any beasts. There's three Merlin trials right next to each other. Side quest over there. Over here. No beasts around here. That I can see. Ah, 
hot food is. That is, that is some beast. Poopers, that's what I need. I need a pooper. Okay, I'm about to upgrade, get some achievements. Let's go get us some poopers. Do cooperate, won't you? Yes, I get a pooper. Get a pooper. Ah, one more of these. Not going to hurt you. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. So before I even do the main quest, I'm going to have some fun in my Hogwarts home. of all the potions you brewed. Let's go, we just got an achievement. We just got an achievement. Grow every type of plant. Let's go. Alright, so. Everything's all right now. Thank you. 
know how they actually sleep. It's crazy. Alrighty. Time to upgrade some gear. Oh, I need to grab more. Let's go, we got an achievement. Create a piece of gear three times. Let's go, we get the achievement. Let's go. It's a graph horn. Get two achievements. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? The treasure and the welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Hope to see you again. Farewell. Oh, it actually tells you. It actually tells you. Seems a pleasant enough little place. A 
didn't touch your helm. Thank you for making me the first object of your suspicion. Over here! What's going on here? Professor Rookwood was right. The place is crawling with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together all right, but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. You can't stop Red Rock's Rebellion! You know, it's only following orders. Leave your accusations in someone else's direction. Let me use Crucio. Why is it? If I'd known your plan was to dig up half the I country... I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach of that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a Keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, Bring me the child. We already knew they were after you, but now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. Any special word you want me to pass on to your mum? Ah. No, just because you said that. Let the bacon stop! Places! A lamb for the good thing that.
Rebellion. I suppose that's the quick way down. Well, this might be the best meal I've had in years. Is there something to those symbols on the walls? There is. I've seen symbols like these before. Need to find all of them and cast at them quickly in succession. Rebellion. Goblin tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. This must be it. The store of magic and the source of Ranrock's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? Ranrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? Rebellion.
I heard something. I was hoping that was you. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No. Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be. And, sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Just tell me where I need to go. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock. And my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. Rebellion. Join you if I could. I shall await your arrival in the map chamber. Second trial. That pillar is blocking the path. I'll need to move it.
to proceed to the left here, but how? Hitting those marks readjusts the archways. Perhaps there's a way forward from the other side of this one.
to the thing. There used to be a thing. Now there's not a thing. What happened to it? Is it possible to pull one of those blocks through the archway? Okay, this is this is getting frustrating. After pulling the block out through the archway, I can place it where it can be climbed on while on the other side of the archway.
Rebellion. Thank you. 
What a relief. What a relief it is. Revelio. I must say, I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father. These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take...
take away pain. Isadora. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you.
You're back. And in one piece, no less. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of, well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Rebellion. Batty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. I have been asked to teach you the exploding charm, <coughs> Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks <coughs> I've set forth, speak to me after class. Alohomora.
Revelio. What are you up to now? Another house token for the house chest. I can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder.
Revelio. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Oh, no, you don't. I'm only trying to help. There we go. Assignment's all finished. Do cooperate, won't you? No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. <laughs> Professor Howard will never believe this. Handy resource indeed. Spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. I take it you're. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. 
Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done! Let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombarda. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Rebellio. Beginner's luck, I say. You'll not beat me next time. Rebellion. You'll never believe what... What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl.
And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Struck by a cursed broom with Rebellion. Pages, and this is where they put me. Rebellion. Oh, it's you! Just the person Samantha, I... Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. He's... He's been cursed. He ignored my warning, and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? 
Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. Revelio. Medley's will the high wing. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I 
would be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friends with a time-sensitive delivery. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time. Rebellion. Rebellion. My first employment was at Honeybee. What needs doing, needs doing. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I... thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologized when he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. <sighs> he just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. It certainly takes a lot of courage to try, I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. Troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. <laughs> what do you have in store? Hello. Might you have time to help with an urgent delivery? You sound as if you could use some help. Oh, yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thoughts, precisely. You see... I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present.
Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Rebellion. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Bombarda. Rebellion. What do we have here? Alohomora. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. When you find a good opportunity, it's wise to seize it with both hands. Not enough reflection on the past, in my opinion. The world learns from its Point of toiling that could be done with magic. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Revelio. Confringo! Bombarda! 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 Accio!
Seems a pleasant enough little place. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Rebellio. Bombarda. Rebellio. Charles won't get the best of me. I should investigate. Incendio. Rebellion. Repair. Accio. Vingardium Leviosa. Rebellio. Lumos. Rebellion. 
Revelio. Incendio. Bombarda. Rebellion. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Well, my feet didn't turn into beads. That's a good start.
Lumos. A troll? You can't be serious. Bombarda! Rebellion. A sarcophagus. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully.
Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. Rebellion. I take it you're Alexandra's friend. Bombarda! Expelliarmus! Confringo! Expelliarmus! Confringo! Blazes! Bombarda! Oh. 
Bombarder. Glaciers. Alexandra, but the hamlet needed to be saved from that troll. Rebellion. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. There wasn't much he could have done. He was beyond training. Tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. Whisperer? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own. But truly, thank you for what you did. The Troll Whisperer. Seems fitting. Did you deliver the Chinese chomping cabbages to my friend Bernard yet? Mr. Thistlewood, what was it you needed my help with? crates of cabbages. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present.
Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know. What do you have for sale? Now, how can I help? Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Mr. Thistlewood, what was it you needed my help with? Cra I wonder if you might... Very well, sir. What do you have for sale? Now, how can I help? That ought to serve you nicely. Thank you. I hope to see you again... Need here I come. Here you found a bit of come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I hope to see you again. What can I do for you today? Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours.
Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. seen this many plants. Revelio. Wonderful. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Hasn't seen this many plants here before. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed.
hasn't seen this many plants here before. from here. Deke has marked the area on your map. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed.
Rebellion. Going to hurt you. Everything's all right now. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. of all the potions you've brewed. Thank you. 
wonder who lives here. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Revelio. Rebellion. Believe this. Oh wow, I got a Niffler, but I didn't think I was going to get Niffler. So. Revelio. Rebellion. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Revelio.
crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. One in the I heard something. Best place. You! What do you think you're doing? The beasts are safer now. Revelio. That's one crate in hand. We need one more. Alohomora. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Revelio. I never met a beast. I didn't hate. I know all. It's a better. No. Rebellion. Alohomora. No, you don't. Revelio. Come to think of it, months ago I repair it. I'll scout around Felcroft for something to do. Blazing! Right there! Bombarder! Oh. Expelliarmus! Oh. 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 But we forget about that going out. Let me out of Blazing! Trick was here for me again. Confringo! Nearly fell in. Touch the gun shoot to see a stolen hypocrite. Let's go momentum. Incendio. Incendio! You made one. You. Bombarder! Let me out of Blazing! Stupefy. 
It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Rebellion. <laughs> Bombarda. Confringo. Repair. That's that. Settled. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Revelio. Aloha Mora. Aloha Mora. Rebellion. Revelio. Confringo. Uh. Revelio. Mind now, demi guys. Demi guys, but it's a level two lock. Alohomora too.
Clever? How offensive. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Any luck removing some more of those demiguys statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, bring me a few more moons and I'll show you how to improve casting Alahamora. Where should I look for more demiguy statues and moons? All of my uh, usual haunts, which incidentally have now become quite haunting. Here in the castle, in Ogsmead, and believe it or not, in some of the surrounding hamlets. Oh, my tormentor is nothing if not thorough. Kept me from all my usual engagements for an eternity now. I'll keep an eye out for more demiguy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor. Especially since they can only be collected at night. Revelio. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Rebellio.
Revelio. What up, nah? When you hopping on? You hopping on? Right now, I'm just in explore mode, trying to explore. Dude, I'm still learning new tricks, like, almost 25 hours into the game, and there's stuff I didn't know I could do with magic. Rebellion. The Colter. What's behind there? Just a couple chests. What's even worth it? Figuring this out. Chests are just chests. We don't need chests. Bombarda. Okay, so I only need three more of these, so I gotta find where this Revelio. Find where this key is. It's a book down there. So I'm gonna go find this key. I only need three more house crests to open my house chest. So after this it'll be two. Rebellion. That's it. All right, I'll need only two more of those. Rebellion. Arrest the momentum. Oh, I did figure it out. Oh my gosh, I figured it out. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Uh, except it's a little trickier than that. This guy's seen me. There we go. A little, little glitch cheat. A little glitch cheat.
What up, what up? What's up? Um, dude, I, I feel like this game is making me smarter with all these damn puzzles. <laughs> I feel like I'm right. I feel like so intelligent right now. Let's see. Those right there. Bro, the crazy thing is like you use like every single one of your spells. There's like 50 of them. Arrest <laughs> Actually, one of my other friends I've played with for a while, he's getting the game now. Hey, yeah, Kyle said he got the game. Kyle got the game, that's right, Kyle got the game. Yeah. I told him to like go to the website and like take the trait test and see which like house he gets sorted into and then just link it. But... Honestly, it's a lot, yeah. a lot of work. Make, make his bond and... Yeah. Hello, Hamora. But yeah, I told him, I said, like, dude, if you start playing, like, just hit me and I up and we'll get in a Discord. Make it a little more interesting uh, yeah. for his stream. <laughs> I stream, dude. I don't know. I don't care about me. Like, I just do it for the clips and whatnot. Like Kyle's a good entertainer, but like me, I just like sometimes I just get quiet and get into the game. Rebellion. Hello, Hamora. You got, uh, where are you at right now? Like, what, what is the last big thing you did? I'm actually in the, um, with the requirements right now. Oh, dude, that's, that's the best. Literally the best. It's, it's basically, like, life support, like. Got a good old Fendor on. <laughs> Lumos. It's amazing. I got like this black and red checkered Vendor on. <laughs> Yay, new spells! Rebellion. Evanescu. Okay, let, give me one sec, I gotta equip it. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put her right there. Oh, that's cool. The vanishing spell. Rebellion. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? I've collected 61% of all the field guide pages. Somehow it says I'm like 57% done with the quest. It's kind of weird. I'm not even at 30 hours. I have done a lot of fast traveling now. Explore the room requirements. How many field guide stuff is in here, huh? Oh, are you at the beginning of the room requirement? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it gets much better. Okay. Without you're there with the professor or whatever. 
Yeah, yeah, that's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I just... She told, I'm uh, right at the part where she just told me to explore because she found her yep. old school bag. There are emotes, cause like another oh, totally collection of people created plateaus long before any of us were even saved. <laughs> Rebellion. <laughs> Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. Ooh, a golden snitch. I want a golden snitch. Dude, I hate to say it, but like collecting the field pages and reading about them and just learning about more about Harry Potter's world is just half the fun. All right. And learning about like stuff that happened before like Harry Potter's like right. generation. Alohomora. I just want to know how like some of these people are related to like. Some of the people in Harry Potter, like the Weasleys, I wonder yeah, how they're related to like Ron yeah, Weasley and all of them. them. Publishing a book about the game, for sure. I mean, this is gonna inspire them too to like. 
continue the Harry Potter universe. Especially after they see how much money they make. Rebellion. Oh my god. Um, I'm so close to opening my house chest. Rebellion. Just gonna find this damn key, flying key. Have you done those yet to get the tokens, the flying keys that you gotta find and then follow back and then slap them? Um, I don't think so. Surprised because I've been doing that pretty early on. There might Rebellion. Be a quest. I don't know. Let me also. Rebellion. called a house cabinet and it's got like a flying key on it you have to slap it in the center but um, once you collect enough of them you can open your house chest but there's once you get your house chest once you learn about all that um, save the game right before you open the house chest because if you don't get the gear you want you can just reload your save and open it again and it'll be randomly generated loot, so. I'm really bad at this. Literally just need one more house token. Rebellion. Hey, one of the flame checkpoint things in here. Cool.
I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. It wasn't too much trouble? Yeah, it was. Give me 500 gold. The troll almost killed me. <laughs> give, me give me that money. It literally says, a troll almost killed me. Well, there was a troll in the tomb. Well, there was a, a troll? troll. Oh dear, I'm so sorry, that's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course, I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. What? This quest didn't give me any money, even though I asked for money. It usually gives you money. It must have been. I guess not everyone can pay. Huh? A desk of description, huh? You know how cool it'd be if you could be an anim anime guy? I learned one of the unforgivable curses, by the way. <laughs> All I can say is be careful with the dialogue, because if you say the wrong things, they might um, not allow you to do it. My brother's doing I well, thank I don't, you. I'm not 100% certain Excuse on that. To me now. That's kind of why I want to do another playthrough and just make different decisions. Revelio. For some summoners court. Hello, Grace. Actually, pretty decent. What are you doing here? Court. Nice to see you. Thank you again for your help at the lake. I've become quite good at summoners court, and I'm waiting for my next opponent. I suppose that's you. I suppose so. Shall we begin? I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. Remarkable shot. That's the way to do it. Impressive. That's the way to do it. Well, 
Well done. Leaving <coughs> Summoner's Court seems there's nothing you can't do. There wasn't much to it. You really are insufferable. You may have beaten me, but your next opponent is sure to take you down a peg, which will be a joy to see. I do wish... Love the talent tree.
It's like a place right out of a storybook. I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. You've one less follower, Ranrock. Rebellion. How's our rumor requirement going? Oh, yeah. That's all the crates of Chinese chomp and cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Put some of these decorations now. Right. I decorated mine too, a little bit. Some interior decorating. delivery for my dear friend Eddie hello mr. and I Eddie Thistlewood sent me yes he told me to expect you do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages I have them right here marvelous this will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists the same foul curs who I'm willing to guess intercepted them in the first place along with Rookwood's lot Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. What do you have for sale? At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. A pleasure doing business with you. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time?
nice to see you, my young friend. Wonder who lives here. This looks intriguing. This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Source of all your upgrades, your potions. Yeah. Good for you. I love it, dude. Like once you get enough money, you can like totally deck it out and create like five potions at once, and, you know, six plants at once. It took me a while, dude, to get enough money to actually like fully deck it out. Like I had to continually play the game and come back to it every now and then. <laughs> Some of the some of the stuff to unlock that you need can be pretty expensive. Like all the tables. Tobbs's master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? You aren't having Oh shit, you can even change like the walls and stuff. Oh yeah. You can change the ambience. Oh I want that I want that wooden wall. Or Man, or I want that wooden one. Dark or just about anything. Good for you. So there's like two darks and like I think three light versions of the room. It's it's fun. I I change it based on my mood. <laughs> It looks as if Tops was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave.
That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Confinder! I chose the, like a dark, like the dark mysterious theme. Oh yeah. Yeah, like I said, you'll probably change it based on your mood. You might get tired, because eventually, like, it was hard for me to see, because I was straining my eyes, because I was doing so much in there. At first, you don't really do a whole lot, but you'll see as you progress. <laughs> I thought you're a deadly great spider. Rebellion. Feeling that house elf is tops. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. That table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. Let's 
Revelio. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh, my. Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he died. We were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts, too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly, and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. I think I'm at like the tippity top of Hogwarts right now. <laughs> On your broom? No, uh, just in the side. Oh. I found I found like one of those mirror tower? things. Did you have to... <clears throat> yeah, with the clock tower. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I got my hippogriff unlocked. It's pretty dope. Off on another adventure, are we? Hell yeah. Woo, baby. Oh my, this is pretty high up here. Oh, I wish you can look through the telescope. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers. 
certain that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this Bye trip away. never Here's happened. <laughs> uh, are you looking it up? No, I was. I just went on Facebook for a second, oh, so okay. like a like a streamer's video. Scythe. Yeah, dude, it's the hippogriff is amazing, and just the whole beast class, just in general. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Follow Poppy. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience by poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. That's the first time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... Odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we could find out why. smoking. They can't have been gone long. Pelt. Poor beasts. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but 
carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Curiosity they teach what uh, no. Suppose he's for magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Repair one. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? It's a dragon fighting ring. His Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Then a what victor was sinking straight in the bathroom with him. Rebellion.
Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite a fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? Not with the plans they likely have for it. I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count.
may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out. This way. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Let's go. Not even 25% completed. Upgrade a piece of gear. I thought I already did that. Is one of my achievements bugged? I'm gonna Google this because I'm pretty sure I already did that. It's got to be bugged for me, honestly. Common item. None of my common items have upgrade slots.
point to them. What's a common item? As well. It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we Rebellion. will... Rebellion.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Here you found a bit. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? A wise decision. Thank you. Hope to see you again. What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Rebellion. The Auras get to have all the fun. Or rather, they do in biscuit. Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnath. Just Garnath. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garneth. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. What are you up to now? Not sure. Let's go! Come on, High Wing! Stupid one. Expelling eyes. Pick up my little bombarder. 
backwards, don't go. Good for it, about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Alohomora. Which one of you is Biscuit? There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Don't run away from me. Don't run away from me. Revelio. <coughs> no need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Do cooperate, won't you? Everything's all right now. Bombarder. Rebellio. Where's Biscuit? Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Rebellion. No, you don't.
All right, let's get. Let's get you back to Gondor, shall we? Any more cozy than Hogsmeade? What will I do without her? Garnet, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? If it weren't for me, I suspect those poachers would have flayed her alive. Oh, perish the thought. Thank Merlin you were able to save her in time. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. You can have her back for the right price. I, of course. I would pay any amount for the safety of my dear Biscuit. Oh, my sweet little Biscuit. My wise, noble Mooncalf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. Rebellion. Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion.
Revelio. Lumos. Oh, butterfly, butterfly. Statue is something. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Lumos. How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Revelio. I'm like 25 hours in, and I'm still learning spells from the teachers. Rebellion. I've always said discover Revelio.
Revelio. Oh my god, I just found the very last house token to open my house chest. I just have to figure out where the key is. Somewhere here in the library. Perhaps the book Professor Weasley wants me to get is upstairs. Yep, I found it. And now we get to unlock the house chest. Rebellion. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be there. Looking for the book in its immediate transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. Correct! According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consist of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the Quaffle. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows a drinker to change species. True. Actually, the answer was false. While polyjuice potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for Rebellion. you. Rebellion. Rebellion ought to make quick work of this. <laughs> Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. 
Lumos. Revelio. Go unlock my house chest. Mm. I can find it though. I know I haven't been there in so long, dude. Like, so I'm gonna save the game. Rebellion. That's it. I'm making good progress with those tokens. Here we go, Here the we last, go. House last house token. Time to see what's inside. Yeah, baby, flying around on the broom. Um, dude? Well, look at that. Uh, Thanks goes to the former headmistress, you praxium. I feel mind. like everybody picked the, fi the fire broom. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I thought that same exact thing, dude. I'm like, there's no way no one didn't pick the fire broom. I watched Stone Mountain, he had the fire broom. I'm like, of course, dude. Yeah. The rest are so boring. <laughs> Everybody did. <laughs> like, the, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I wish the um, deluxe edition came out with a broom, too. Should've. Yeah, I don't know. And they can upgrade your broom. That's Dark kinda, Guard's broom. It's kind of fun to upgrade your broom. Uh, I'm not going to lie, dude. The house chest did not... Uh, not really what I expected it to be. I think it was just like a transmog item. It's actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Might actually wear that too. That's I mean there's a lot of work for for that. Good shit. Quest to do, I don't know what to choose. Rebellion.
thing I'm like having difficulty with is finding these demigod statues. Remember in the beginning of the game, I saw like a million of them. Now I can't find a single one. Rebellion. Rebellion. to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Whew. Well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. If I'm reading this correctly, I only have nine more story quests until I'm finished. And 32 side quests I have to do. 32. 32 side quests and nine main story quests. So I don't have a whole lot left if I'm reading this correctly. Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. 
as I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress as far as time. I did. You seem to have had no trouble Learned in getting up to speed. Spells. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Only 5% of the entire gaming population playing this game has gotten all spells. It's actually a lot considering the game like just came out today. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can, in, uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. <laughs> Since our visit to Felcroft, Sandy Dawn triptic. Maybe That's the funny. overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest. And I'll explain. Wait, wait, what about this send you? My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. <laughs> oh yeah, it's funny. Oh yeah, it's how I feel right now. <laughs> Definitely how I feel. Revelia is probably the most used spell in this game, <laughs> no doubt. Yep. Uh. I would have liked wizard's chess, but I guess most kids these days probably are not that into chess, but I don't know. It would have been cool. It was like a mini game. Like, I like the summoner's court and all, but some wizard's chess would be nice.
think the whole hundred hundred hours is only if you're trying to get achievement completion. Because I'm at 25 hours with only nine main quests left. Wah, 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 wah. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you, and she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. So I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Anamagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. I want to be an Animagus. What the heck? Were you born an Animagus? Or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe. But I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. 
My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here yeah, during that rather lot. awkward conversation. Who, Professor Weasley? No, uh... Is this not Sire? Side, the one, the brown one, with the mom who's a professor, Oogadu chick. I think that's not side. I'm just having an hour long conversation. Rebellio. Off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Heard a beep. I hate when you when you do a rebellion and it makes like a chime and it just makes it sound like something is right next to you, but then there's like nothing. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see. They're up there. And it's it getting you, worse. Like, if there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the Catacomb. I mean, I will say a lot of these side quests are pretty much main quests. So... Talk Deaky. There's also like a snake you sound a lot of times where, and uh, I keep wondering if like Slytherin can speak parcel tongue and like. I just want to find a demigod statue. It's been like a year. <laughs> Purposefully not fast traveling or walking all throughout the castle, just literally casting Rebellio as I go. I'm finding shit, but not what I want. I wonder if 
Kyle's gonna get on Hogwarts today. Spare a moment. Dink has an idea to share with you. in your room or requirements so far um just like whatever i had to put in there like the i could think it was the potions table and something else and I put up some decorations or whatever You're playing in your brain makes it so much better. Oh yeah, no question. I use fast traveling if I'm like outside and something is like a thousand meters yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, thank you. Okay, now spending ten minutes just to freaking right. go somewhere. <laughs> weird because I got the achievement for um, upgrading three pieces of gear but I didn't get the achievement for upgrading your first piece of gear it's really weird
when you have a moment. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deeg suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deek has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then, you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Okay. Uh, maybe has encouraged. Need here I come. Come on. <laughs> Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Oh, shit. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. I 
never grows tired of the room's surprises, we now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. going to hurt you. So big. Oh my god. This would have been perfect for multiplayer. Revelio. Okay, 
pretty sure the whole world is playing this game right now. Revelio. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. But breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin. I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls.
Rebellion. Seems a pleasant enough little place. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Revelio. Confringo. Lumos. Bombarda. Repero. Wingardium Leviosa. Glacius. Accio. Bombarda. Rebellio. Bombarda. Rebellio. Bombarda. Confringo. Rebellio. How inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Bombarda. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. The 
There's no telling what lies in wait for me. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the students, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Confringo! Expelliarmus! Bombarda! Now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insects. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Accio. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Rebellion. This is the sort of great room I want. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Something here by the altar. Expelliarmus! Bombarder! 
What did you find? The pulsar. Akira. The guardian of Yotsa. Looks like part of a student's diary. Mentions plans to return for the relic, and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Before we trudge on further... Contringo! The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Rebellion. Bombarda. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this is How gracious of you. I tried. Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Akira is also dealing with rune symbols. That worked. Keep going.
are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. For a moment there, I thought that would never end. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Sebastian, the relic, look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic, it matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. I can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? 
Imperium. That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it. Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of... of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Halves. They come with a cost. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperio! Step aside, Ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. Sebastian, come on. What did you do? Imperio, it was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous, I'm sorry. Sebastian, we have to go. Rebellion. Accio. Bombarda. Rebellion. Did we do the wrong thing? You need the relic. I know. Confringo! Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperial on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. Imperial. 
Rickety Bone Bridge complete. Bombarder! Nah, I've been playing. Nice. I was, uh, I just had my mic broken. I was stuck in the wire for a little bit. Yeah, you're good. Been playing for seven hours. How long will the spell last? That's it. How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? The curse is lifted already. He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb just as we did. He'll be alright, Sebastian. To get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It had only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. <laughs> Kyle just uh messaged you the big chat to Harry Potter is a blast, not gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to ask him. Expelliarmus! Bring them! That was 
He's playing it, but he's not streaming it. I don't know if you've done it yet, but this is like this side quest. What did my uncle expect me for, to do? Uh, for the like this treasure thing. Saved Anne's life. That it's uh, behind this painting, and like you have to use Accio, and like, and like the painting, like if you use Accio, it like pulls itself closer to the door, then like the door appears, like at like oh, I don't yeah, know. It was, I know what you're about. It was fucking those. cool. I forget what it's called. <laughs> I've done one of those. It's a trial where you have to go through and like. Yeah, move, pretty much. Move the blocks or whatever. So you can cross. Pretty sure that's what you're talking about. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home, from my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Dude, it would so Very easily well. get Probably like you'd so easily get lost for a while. in this. I'll head back to Hogwarts. In Hogwarts, if there wasn't for the map. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean I'd never go my way around. Repair. Room. Imagine being a student here, <laughs> trying to find your way around all the time. Yeah. Sure, but if you're there for many hours of the day, you'll freaking know it by hand. I am. <laughs> Wake up. I ran to the shower because I'm like, gotta play, gotta play. <laughs> get a two minute shower. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That <laughs> goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all Tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster 
immediately. Why, Sebastian? I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Huh. Rebellion. Rebellion. It's like a place right out of a storybook. What's that? Did Springy get a new headset? I have no idea. What kind of headset is that? I've never even seen that before. Is that a... Hang on. It's not that. I don't know what that is. Wireless gaming headset, okay. From the makers of the best wireless gaming headset. Never seen that. Interesting. Now I'm gonna type that in. The best wireless. Oh, it's the Steel Series. That's what it is. Those are those are decent. I was trying, I was trying to figure out what the symbol was. I think the Steel Series are better than the Astro A50s.
Bros have won more prize money with Steel Series. That's what the box says on it. <laughs> He's given in to advertise. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? <laughs> Best headset in the world. No, I should say that. Steel Series is fifty. This is my card to get. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. She is above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't <laughs> collared like the other dragons. I can lie, something sounded off about his head's game in the other night. Sick. Wondering what happened to her egg. It sounded like Whose headset? Springs? Springs? Yeah, the one he used last night. For what it's one. worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Maybe he'll hear footsteps Let's hope now. It stays up huh. At least until we've done what we came to do. I wonder how many they brought to capture. Rebellion. <sighs> At least ten, usually. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Repair She is fantastic. She's breathtaking from a distance. Uh. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. She must have been a star to pick off a dragon. Or just raring for a fight. There's no turning back now. Watch out! It's her domain. She'll make sure. Keep at it. 
We've just got to make it to the nest. Oh, she isn't making it easy. Not a warm welcome. It's a little too warm, if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Get to that opening below her. Why is every bridge Repair here broken? It. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. That was brilliant! And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. <laughs> How could I have been so blind? Oh, you gotta breed every type of beast. I also noticed, like, a couple days ago that, like, some of the clothing adds to, like, your off, like, your offense or defense. Oh, yeah, if you upgrade it, it'll also add offense or defense, whichever stat it is. Yeah.
Hmm. Actually, one achievement I missed because I was so into the game. But I mean, I did get the achievement. I just didn't realize I got it. Oh, right then. Oh, I'm right next to the Dark Arts Battle Arena? Oh, I didn't even realize that. Have I even done that? Wasn't that supposed to be part of the expansion? Yeah, yeah. I just found it. Like, I don't, think I don't I've know how. I have not found that yet. It's in the... It's in the Forbidden Forest. Um... Um... Kind of next to uh, Jackdaw's Tomb. Like, really close by that. You have to, like, zoom all the way in on the map to see it. I'm gonna go in there right now and see what's up. Everything's alright now. do 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 right above me whoa that was numbers. that was kind of weird I just saw like a couple of mist of dark magic just rolled by the screen it's like a shooting star but like dark magic <laughs> oh nice. uh, Whoa, what y'all doing over here? Hey now, you leave them people alone. Whoa. I feel like dark magic is like stronger over here or something. Um... Okay. Well, is it like a puzzle or something to open it? Professor Howen will never believe this. Huh. Oh, I'm supposed to bust all these things, huh? Making a baby hypocrite. Yep. Yep, that's how you open it. Got it. It's like a fucking Merlin try to open that thing. Dark battle Dark Arts Battle Arena. Fight waves of enemies in this battle arena with the unforgettable curses Ever Cadaver, Imperio and Curcia, as well as the Blast and Curse Comprigio. In addition to a unique defending effects, I figured the curses break through all shield charms. Did you get a hundred hit combo yet for that achievement? I don't think so. Wait. It's kind of a tough one. Hang on. Actually, I might have. Hang on.
Oh, this game is actually rated M for mature. Is it really? Yeah. That's crazy. Imagine how many kids are not allowed to play it. Probably a lot, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, there's probably going to be more... Actually, no. Actually, no. There's probably not more kids that are playing it. It's probably more people like my age or in their thirties. Yeah. I don't know. My sister's fifteen. Like, she watched Harry Potter with all her friends. <laughs> All these people are people are already looking for groups for Hogwarts Legacy. Really? What yeah. I guess group? just now anybody playing? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, what are you gonna? You're just gonna like hop into the random like a like a party with a random person? Yeah. And not play with them? Like this? Right. <laughs> <That's> <sighs> somebody somebody said. Somebody say can someone give me the game? Ain't nobody <laughs> gonna freaking buy the game for you. I don't know, dude. You never know. That 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 might be like that dude like sexual. Thought people get games, too. huh? Like, <laughs> right that right there. Someone's gonna message him and be like, Well, will you send me some pictures? For me. That's a recipe for disaster right there. Bad game. Okay, so it says there's only nine quests left, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like eight quests within those nine quests, so there's still a lot of quests. And then there's all the side quests, which directly affect the story, honestly. A lot of them. Joe Pesci is 80 years old. He was older, to be honest. What's up, Chase? Chase, uh, are you into Harry Potter? Did you get this game? And how you been, dude? Like, we haven't played Warzone in a minute. Find the map chamber as a griffin door. Dark Arts Battle Arena. Oh, 
Oh my god! Oh, oh good, you're safe. I can even use spells that I haven't even learned yet. Yeah, I just used Africa Dabra, dude. Oh my no way, Lord. Really? They let you use that. Yeah, dude. That's walking the. There you <laughs> yeah. are. You're in such a state. I'm the Dark Arts battery, and I guess you can grand. use spells Someone that you haven't even learned yet. Horn. They got to her. What do you mean? Is she alright? Oh, She's oh, shit. fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole Dude, place I can't apart wait to it, actually learn that we cost them everything. this stuff. I've already learned two of the unforgivable curses. Dude, I want to learn Avracadabra so much now. You know what? I don't care about those. I want the Deathly Hollow. I want to know what the Deathly Hollow is. Oh, and how you mean. find it. Is it the cloak? Or is it the Elder Wand? Or... I don't care about the resurrection stuff. I'm sorry, Poppy. We've completed! I'm glad she's alright. I don't think either Uncle one of us could have anticipated that. Yeah, I should have just... known. I underestimated the poachers. Oh, now it's goblins? And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed. So they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One mm. of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. <laughs> Dude, but the poachers Eric, will be watching Dabra's for us now. Freaking crazy. Others who hate the poachers Have enough to help Crucio? us, who value creatures as much as we Yeah, yeah. You're genius. So, I just learned that yours. not too long ago. They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. It's also kind of slow, because, I mean, it is a And Africa Darba just instantly kills them. I, is it cool? I'm guessing the cooldown is pretty big. Sounds as if we need to yeah, go it is. the Yeah, it is. It's really big. careful in how we approach them. <laughs> Tensions with them are high. Still, like I can I probably only, only use it like once per let wave. On it. Interesting. I'll let you know as soon so as I have a plan. Save it for a boss. Or the... Pretty much, or if like you're almost dead, or you know something like that. Right. Oh shit! There's more. Oh my god! I didn't even realize there's ten more in this one. I'm probably dead. Yep. You have potions? Oh, I went through three waves. Nah, I don't want to restart it. I just want to check that out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna lie. I think now? this game took a lot from uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Oh yeah, D like definitely even like the interface. Like, like what that 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 dark battle arena? Like, I don't know if you remember the battle arena in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but oh, I didn't play like Odyssey. it's like I play oh really? Dude, you know, I see is probably might be my. Favorite one or my second favorite oh, Assassin's Creed. Did you speak with? I know that I had the. I wish I had better news about your uncle. Most Assassin's Creed with well, the largest man. What did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. But on Odyssey, there was no like man. a. I had oh, there was a battery and killing pretty much just like this. He had we no just right go to through different waves and. Twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing oh, me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form. And that yeah. if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight yeah, to yeah, Professor yeah. Black. Huh? That Whoa. relic, dark magic or not, is the key What's to saving there? Anne. I'm gonna go down to there. reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. Oh, wait. She'll know that we're I can't go down there. I'm afraid I don't follow. Hey! Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn Whoa, what, what is this has. freaking room I found? I shall wait to hear from you then. 
Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. Am I supposed to... Oh, I bet you I'm supposed to repair that. Get my different set out here. Oh. Oh, what the hell? Oh, am I supposed to put those bones in there? Is this room all about? Oh, what the hell? Zombies? Oh, I hate those. You can, only, you can only damage them with fire spells. Yeah. Damn it, I had to change my f***ing sets again. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. <laughs> Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix. The rarest of all beasts. Can I really just do all that for a freaking robe? The phoenix was saying. the most beautiful beast Deke had ever I seen. Deke I feel like I feel like there should be something else in this, in Deke this room here. To climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. Thank you for liking the stream, Chase. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story, and now yourself. Oh, Deke. Hey, that works. What became of that phoenix? Deke feels fortunate really to be at Hogwarts now, day. helping you rescue beasts. Oh, that Perhaps only helps Deke me to get out. For what oh came my God! Before. I thought that would unlock something. Nope, that's just to get out. That's all. I thought those bones are for to help you get out. Make, it, make yourself a set of stairs with the bones.
71% of all the field guide pages I've found. And my quests are at 66%. Don't play any games anymore, Chase? No Warzone, nothing. Fortnite. Rebellion. Rebellion. Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Rebellion. that correctly I'm only missing four of the field pages in all of Hogwarts yeah I'm only missing four field pages in the entire school and there's barely any left like there's a bunch in Hogsmeade and only a few in the Highlands so literally just have to find four field pages in Hogwarts. That's crazy. Play COD every few weeks. Nice. Nice. Rebellion.
Revelio. Yeah, just hop in my chat. Let me know when you're getting on. I can switch over. It's been forever, dude. Uh, my buddy here, Nye, he might be willing to switch over as well. So yeah, we might be able to do tune for some games. We'll see what's going on. I know we got a we got a group of guys that we usually play every night. So I'm usually the fill-in guy. So if they don't have a spot, I fill in. But, yeah, hit me up. We'll see what we can do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. High wing, go! Oh, I got a talent available. Days. Hell yeah. Um. To race thou, my friend. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue pack. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Revelio. Can we get a ball? Where's the ball? This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Alright, this should be easy. Accio. Need to buy some more leaves. I can do more Merlin trials. Oh, I thought you said something else. Buy some more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's totally what I said. Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a lot, dude. Like... I didn't think it was gonna be. I thought it was just gonna be like a... Like missions, like just throughout the story or something. Like side missions or something. That's why I'm trying to do them as I go. Because I don't want to come back to them at the end and have to do like a hundred of them. Like nothing but... Summoning 
summoner's court. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, uh, well, yes. <laughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodcock. Just Lodcock. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door, or a loitering loyalist. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. Is looking at us. So rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward.
still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. I've read about mines like this. Seeing one is something else altogether. As I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodgog, to say the least. Too, dude. It's been a minute. Watch your step round here. Bombarder! Imperial! Oh, that is kind of cool. Yeah, unforgivable. One less shield to worry about. Yeah. Oh, did you go on the, on the dark guard snake? No, I'm just. I've already learned two of them. I just use a parry. Just to see the human attack. Uh, it's all about the, uh, the quest with Sebastian. Let's get it. I will not be made a fool of. The side quests, though, like you have to do them because a lot of them take time. Door. Like they'll they'll be like, okay, I'm gonna go get this ready, and I'll send you a letter when I'm ready. What Or or sometimes they they lead to like a main mission. Right, that too. You won't yeah. get through as long as we can be seen by that eye. to be seen, do we? I should use disillusionment. That boy won't see a thing. Rebellion. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. A schematic? There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Confringo! Rebellion. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. I need to get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. That's the last loyalist. Unfortunate, really. I'd imagine Rebellion. those goblins to be brilliant and kind. I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am. They're building something rather large. But what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We what can't return hell? to Lodgok empty headed. All right, that's cool. Oh, it's scary. 
like, boom, like, I don't know, it like, froze out for some reason. Stay close. I get it freeze, but like, you know how like on uh, this place is more complex Call of Duty, like, it will just like, dashboard your fucking game? Oh yeah. Like, you just had the home, like, that's what just happened. Like I clicked on, what did it? Oh, I clicked on a, uh, I clicked on something on the map. What are they I went to go to fast to that this location, and then like it just it is. bugged yeah. out. I remember, I had that one issue. It only happened the one time. Rebellion. I had that same issue where I like tried to fast travel and it like was bugged out. Confirmed. Rebellion. Bombarder. Sometimes it seems that all roads lead to hogs, maybe.
should be the last of them, I'll This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgok what we found. Oh boy, now I have to exit this gigantic mine that I just took 30 minutes to navigate through. I think it'll walk all the way back to it. There must be a quicker way out of here than retracing our steps. to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Hey, I'm like a teammate. what just happened that wasn't so bad was it it was it really was i'm afraid i've had enough adventure for one day for a lifetime perhaps thank you Amit. i couldn't have done it without you now if you don't mind i'd like to have a word with lodgok understood i'll leave you to it your goblin secrets are safe with me but i get to write the book about this escapade someday without further ado at you They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Randrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, 
oddly shaped container with the strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Renrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Cut the stream, guys. I know I got two viewers, but I gotta eat some food. Boo! <sighs> gotta eat some food, dude. My stomach's killing me. You don't need food. <laughs> I need food. <laughs> Who needs food? Food is overrated. No, I gotta eat it. <laughs> so, so, I'm gonna cut the stream here. I will maybe be back if I don't watch Harry Potter. <laughs> so, be sure to tune in next time. Yeah, man. <laughs>